from Texas City, the final report on the aftermath of disaster. For days, this once thriving American town was a blazing inferno, begun when a French ship blew up in the harbor. More than 400 citizens perished. This is the scene after four days of explosions and fires. With the pyre of their city still burning, survivors hold memorial services. Theirs was a typical Texas town of homes, churches, theaters, stores. Today, death is everywhere. But there is also life and the will to rebuild. From its ruins, Texas City and its people are struggling back. At Athens Aerodrome, Princess Catherine of Greece meets her British husband-to-be, Major Richard Brandrum. The 35-year-old Major from Bickley, Kent, flew to the Greek capital from Iraq for his wedding. The bride's brother, King Paul I, wearing half mourning for his late brother, King George of the Hellenes, was best man. The couple were married according to Greek and Anglican rites. The 34-year-old Princess Catherine's gown was cut in classic Greek style with a full tulle veil. They will live in Iraq. A Pathé Air report on the sequel to a 75 mile an hour gale. Off the coast of Cornwall, six miles from Penzance, the grand old battleship war spite lies aground at Prussia Cove. Stripped of her gun, she was on her way to the Clyde for breaking up. Turning north, our reporter heads out for Porth Call, Glamorgan. There off the rocky South Wales coast lies the broken hulk of the 7,000-ton steamship Sam Tampa. Headed for Newport for refitting, the gale tore her into three parts. A crew of 40, 20 of them from Middlesbrough, perished. A second tragedy was yet to come. The Mumbles lifeboat, Edward Prince of Wales, you see it here overturned on the rocks below, put out and was lost with all hands in a vain attempt at rescue. The total death roll was 48 in this 12-hour drama off the coasts of Britain. The worst double sea tragedy for years. 